Hey, what's going on folks? This is Dmitry back again. In this video, we're going to be checking out, debunking more money myths and see what's going on under the hood, see what's, what's cooking there and if it's real or not, and we can take it from us or, you know, just reject it really quickly. So, <laughs> uh, and the drum roll is going to be provided from the website of Dave Ramsey. The, yeah, he's a really, really big fish in the finance world and, and I really like his take on that. Uh, how he uh, takes uh, money uh, and uh, how to like good and practical steps where he can and we can take it from him and get us uh, or you know teach ourselves some of the good moves from the investment and personal finance perspective so let's get into it the first step the first myth the first uh, notion that he provided on the website that I checked it out and I was like you know what let's go money tips of his and then let's check it out and Let's see what we do, what we think about it. So make monthly budget every month. Uh, what my take on it? Man, this is incredible, incredibly, incredibly important. Uh, why is it important? Is because uh, really in our personal life, day in life, every day and age, like today, we really need our budget straight and see what's going on in our finances. If you're really starting, if you're on a personal finance journey, you know you want to get a, get out of the you know uncontrollable situation with your finances. You don't know what to do. Hey, I really like that step where he mentions. You know what? Monthly budget is the way to go. A uh, few practical. Uh, spots and applications that you can uh, take a look on is mint uh, is provided from intuit it's not sponsoring anything but it's a really good spot to start so make a monthly budget good or bad yes you know i really like this idea is because it really helps um you don't need to be like super super so well depending on your situation but uh you gotta set it up because and keep to it you know not don't go like you know set it up and then just walk away from it and you know have in your brain and then so like you know go start start spending it all over the place no uh, set it up and go for it and then keep to it you know so every month so there you go the second step is that uh he mentioned i on my notes here i ah, wrote it down actually so <laughs> and it's a track your every transaction oh man i cannot tell you enough how much uh, I was into it and I personally uh, did that in my personal finances when I started beginning and started with doing stuff and you know st I still do that you know actually to that day uh, I started all the way back when I was in college uh, in my during, doing my bachelor and stuff and um, during my first year and like all the years there so I was basically manually entering all every transaction I tried to do my best but like I, I <laughs> I didn't like I didn't know better but it was it was it was painful but I was I was, I was tracking it it was really really important for me and uh, you know at the same time I understood how much I spent on like on food how much I spent on this on that on this and that and so I, at the end of the day I came to a realization so hey I spend on food this much I spend on the uh, transportation this much I spend on this this much on living this much and things like that so uh, how it helps to you man I cannot tell you that so this is the second step that I'm here talking about and I also like it man because it's uh, really gives you understanding the ability of to tracking your uh, spending, understanding uh, the needs that you have, understanding, well, obviously we have a, a pretty much similar um, need situation, you know, clothing, food, whatever, whatever. That's, 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 that's yes, but the way, how much you spend on it is also understanding uh, of the, how much money you need, you know, basically it's, 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 gets, it's, be, it's get as basic as that, you know, so track and track is action. You, you do um, all the way through all the categories and all that. Um, I would I was doing it painfully manually and uh, you know I can tell you that much you know if uh, you take anything from this video so you can automate that uh, from this perspective of again uh, you can use uh, budgeting applications when you connect all your um, uh, credit cards and stuff and you put it in there obviously if you use cash for some of your transaction well you gotta do manually because <laughs> cash is hard to track and if you don't track it manually obviously you don't want to track it manually right so 
uh, some of the things, uh, you, you know, cards and bank accounts and credit cards and things like that, they make it uh, really, really convenient in terms of tracking because you can connect them to the uh, budgeting application right now. Can also definitely help you with that, with the transaction tracking those and instead of doing it manually, do it properly with the app and uh, make it really comfortable. So the third step, really, 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 really helpful is uh, budget your goals. Um, I haven't really thought about it before, but uh, uh, as I was uh, contemplating the transaction, like to basically doing projects, doing tra like transaction or anything like that, it is really important to understand that you need to you need to subdivide and um, assign specific uh, tasks for your goals and things and projects. So. Uh, with that in mind, I was thinking that in that direction. And uh, you know, what I found out is that um, basically you can really track it in the sense of budget your goals. And uh, you can also subdivide it into the budgets and sub budgets. Uh, so let's say you wanted to uh, submit some work, accomplish something, right? Like pay out your credit card or something like that. Uh, you know, if you got a lot of money, uh, you know, uh, taken from the credit card, uh, you know, credit account, you can definitely uh, set aside and sub subdivide it as a, into a project and basically make a decision to budget for it specifically. Uh, it's kind of becoming really, really uh, more uh, of a bureaucratic approach on some things and it's kind of like can complicate things a lot. Um, which is the same thing really but the budgeting part is it's pretty much becomes a budgeting part that you budget specifically for that specific project or specific thing that you want to accomplish so and um, yeah you can think of it this way as like a specific budgetary type of thing but in reality it's like it, it kind of becomes complicated so uh, for me budget your goals as uh, an idea yeah, but it's kind of covered in your first and you make your monthly budget. So technically you're doing the same thing like twice, you know, so you budget for a specific thing. And then even though you specific, you already budgeted like for something, so, you know, it depends what we're kind of like talking about here. But yeah, so this pretty much does on the third part. The fourth part, uh, check your instant, uh, your insurances and subscriptions. Well, that one is very interesting. Actually, the subscriptions part, I edited that because uh, as I was looking into it, obviously I like that. I like that uh, idea. I like that uh, approach and money hack. And uh, what is the reason? Because there's a lot of times, a lot, like lots of times, uh, people are just, uh, including myself, I um, sometimes notice that like, you know, you want to try something free, free, like, you know, they get you with the free subscription. Oh, you know, try 30 days free, things like that, which is, which is nice. You know, I, I don't, I, <laughs> I don't disagree with that. However, as uh, weeks, a few weeks goes by, you forget about that thing and hey, lo and behold, you are already hooked and you are just basically paying for the next month and the next month and the next month. So. Uh, it's very, very crucial to, you know what, if you actually want to partake and, you know, participate, you know, really check it out, really see what, like, what the value of it is and things like that, set up, set up an alarm, definitely, like, set an alarm or, like, an invite on your calendar, whatever you're checking your meetings on, whatever, so make sure you put it on the place where you're getting that alarm and setting, like, you know what, hey, make sure you're, you know, uh, cancel that subscription in the 30 days because like unless you actually need to continue and you utilize that services you know unless it's there you you gotta cancel it you know what as i was actually thinking about it i am um, need to cancel one subscription definitely because i signed it up for it <laughs> so because I, I wanted to test some things and uh, i just remembered myself that i need to do it so uh, thank you guys because you as i was doing my video i remember to do something so this is great um yeah so Obviously, insurances, and the reason you want to check those is because if you really have a great deal or not, don't do like really like pretty much every day. This is not going to be, uh, you know, profitable or anything. But you can definitely check on those like once a year on insurances and the services that you're getting, like phone services, insurance services, and things like that. With the ones on the subscription, uh, those things that if those are real good deals and things like that, you know. 
so you know it's it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of good <laughs> in that sense so cut back on the fifth part is cut back on impulse purchases fantastic advice i like that however uh sometimes the greed takes over and you can't do anything about it <laughs> wrong no uh this is not the case so you can definitely uh you know uh, hold yourself back on a certain impulses purchases because you really don't need those you know like there is like there is a there is a th there is a place that you can you know kind of treat yourself and that's okay but you can budget for it in the monthly budget thing yes uh, you know, you can do sort of like entertainment thing. You can do sort of like, you know, go out or whatever. Just put it in like, let's say like once a month, twice a month. Like, you know, just do that. Um, have a nice meal, have a nice entertainment wise, you know, like just budget, budget on that. And first of all, you won't, won't feel guilt about it because you already budgeted for it. But at the same time, uh, and you still had some time, good time. So it's not that you like neglect on entertainment or anything like that or like you know having a good time because we're living really we're not robots right so uh we need to leave as well so uh budget just just make sure you budget for it as much as you can uh necess like ne necessarily accordingly and things like that but beyond that you know just don't buy stuff you know that's pretty easy <laughs> in the impulse purchases wise right so obviously we need some we, we need to make transactions but you know uh you could avoid those uh to do like impulse ones those are different they're, they're different they're different ones i know sometimes like you know you crave some you know whatever whatever but you can definitely hold on on that when well, lastly you know it's good that was kind of silly there when i read it the last one was basically make margin or make space or in other words basically make more money i was like you know what that's an interesting idea a novel idea because i was kind of like that's uh you know it's kind of given <laughs> you know but sometimes it's worth mentioning like you know it's you're you're basically at the spot where you know what i cannot cut off anymore yeah that's that's kind of like this is it this is the end <laughs> you know this is this is the end of the rope and this is this is what i'm stuck and you know uh well there is a time basically so now you can either um check for another job or you know get a look start looking for another opportunity and definitely i and i can tell you that much definitely uh you know even though it can be sound like a job hopping and it kind of sound bad but at the same time you know you used to fastest like maybe the fastest way to get promotion or the fastest way to get a raise because uh technically some of the people and some of the companies they don't do that but they definitely do when you um when you change the employment uh you definitely negotiate the salary and when you negotiate the salary you bump 10k up 20k up 30k up like you know uh, and you know it, it depends where you really kind of <laughs> kind of end up in the spectrum of uh, wages and things like that so one of the, the fastest way to get a um to get a raise is that you know just to change the opportunity obviously there is risk involved because a different opportunity different spot different employment different company different team all that is different however uh you are in the spot of making friends or having a good time or or you're making more money so yeah uh because you know uh and i can tell you that much you know really kind of honestly you know what hey if there is something happens between you and employee or employer um employer can fire you yeah and you know what and sometimes in the contracts i actually read it in a few contracts that you know they can fire you without even saying anything you know like without any explanation or anything they just like decided to part ways with you so well if they looking at it from the perspective of it's business bro or then how about we people we we also going to be looking at it as it's, it's business bro so uh it's not like you know uh, casting shadows on anybody however uh, it's just putting things into perspective there you go you know so um business is business right <laughs> so but nonetheless you know if uh, if it's it's an opportunity it's you can if you can go for it go for it uh if not you know if you're comfortable that's cool too you know so that's pretty much my message you know um but at the same time if numbers work for you go for it if number doesn't work for you well um or you're okay with numbers then you go you know um it's okay 
it's all good so uh basically where you want to go and this is was debunk of the dave ramsey's uh money 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 uh hacks so that's where and i pretty much well, i can pretty much do all 100 percent on those uh maybe not on the budgeting goals because it's kind of doing it twice but overall man i love this big thumbs up so uh there are a few just there are a few uh, discussions that uh, I like to do the <laughs> Dave Ramsey with about like credits and things like that. However, from the beginning and the beginning and the beginning part of it, it's really good. It's really good stuff. So uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you all. So thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Like, subscribe down below.